Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary Bruce with Hunters Fan TV, man. Back at you on this video. At the content of this video, go smash that like button. At the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look. All right, man. We reached double digits in uh, days of training camp. Today is uh, Ravens training camp day number 10. And today, day number 10 was quite eventful. But first, let's talk about the injuries. Caillou Blue Kelly returned back to practice. Uh, looked like Ronnie Stanley had a veteran day. There was, there was no implication that he was injured. And um, same guys that, that have been out or still out, Ojabo, Simpson, Gassin, uh, Stone, and then Pup List guys, we know Bateman, Ricard, Dobbins, and Tyus Bowser has a return for NFI. All right. Now, typically we go offense, defense, things like that. We'll still do that, but there's not much to report on as far as uh, it's kind of all mixed together, to be quite honest with you, because the story of the day was very, very bad offensive play. Um, I've really never seen an offensive report quite this bad before i'm gonna be very honest with you uh this is kind of outside of the realm of we're learning the offense this is just one of them kind of days right um so on offense they had six false starts that, that that was tracked by the reporters and the offense threw nine interceptions nine okay four by lamar jackson three by josh johnson and two by tyler huntley okay now let's talk about let's talk about that right the false starts are a thing that can be happening with a new offense, right? You're trying to get the right timing down, everything like that. Um, you want to see that get cleaned up, right? The Ravens play their first preseason game next week. You want to see them get better before then, you know. Obviously, the guys that are going to be playing that game are not going to be the starters, but still, you want to see that get better over time. All right. The nine interceptions is kind of is is, is a crazy number, all right? Um, obviously, Lamar Jackson struggled today. Um, throwing four of them himself. I believe he threw two to Marcus Williams. And so great player, you know, that is what it is with that. But it's a single fact of nine is a lot for an offense, all right? And um, three by Josh Johnson. Um, Josh Johnson has thrown seemingly at least seven picks over the last week or so. Uh, for whatever reason, the Ravens are giving Josh Johnson a lot of third team reps. And for my money, Please give it to Anthony Brown. All right, Anthony Brown is younger. I like what I saw last year from Anthony Brown. I know it was one game versus the Bengals, but I was encouraged by what I saw from him. Um, I would rather see Anthony Brown out there getting the reps, getting the mental, not even mental reps, getting the physical reps out there than seeing Josh Johnson, who is, what, 36 years old, something like that, constantly throwing interceptions, all right? Um, I'm just not a fan of how the Ravens are giving a lot of reps to Josh Johnson. To me, it doesn't make any sense. Um... You, I, I would think you would want to see Anthony Brown play in preseason. I don't need to see Josh Johnson play in preseason. We know what he is at this point in his career. I mean, he's been in the league, what, 14 years? There's nothing new happening over there. Um, Tyler Huntley threw two interceptions, which was a good day amongst the quarterbacks <laughs> compared to the other guys. So um, just a very, very uh, kind of poor offensive showing all around. Um, nine interceptions, I don't think I've ever heard anything like that on from a single practice. Uh, be quite honest with you now. I've said many times that, you know, hey, the Ravens are a new offense. They're getting <laughs> third bike going by. Uh, the Ravens are in a new offense. Um, they're learning things. They're tying things out. And that's all well, and that's all still true. Uh, but but nine interceptions is, is is a bridge too far. That's that's definitely not what we're talk, well, what I'm talking about when I say you're going through offensive scoring, scoring pains. Now, hopefully, they learn from this and they get better. That's, that's all you can do from this really, from this point on. Is learn from it, get better. That's it. All right. Now, defense, the stars of the show. Our Darius Washington had a great day. We've talked about our Darius Washington a lot. Um, I really believe that he's in solid contention for that cornerback three spot. And if the Ravens decide to play him there, I will be excited for what he could do for this team, honestly. All right. He had a pass breakup on Duvernay. He also had an interception on Lamar Jackson, covering Tyreek Black down the field. Um, also, Marcus Williams, we talked about that, had two interceptions. They said those two picks kind of came in quick succession almost, really. And then uh, Kyle Hamilton also had an interception on Lamar Jackson. We talked about Kyle Hamilton yesterday being one of the better players on the field for the Ravens, and all he's doing is continuing to play well. All right, so I'm really excited for the progress that Kyle Hamilton is making. Um, I think that he's going to be one of the better Ravens players on defense, maybe one of the better Ravens players on this team overall. This upcoming season, all right. Um, so if we're doing the interception count, Marcus Williams had two. Coy Mayfield Jr. Uh, was trying to make a name for himself had two interceptions. Our Darius Washington had one. Um, Kyle Hamilton, Jeremy Lucian, and Kavon Seymour and Daryl Worley. 
Now, speaking of Kevon Seymour, um, he's another guy that's continually making plays, right? Uh, he's been uh, a topic of discussion the last couple of days. Uh, Justin Rubik has pointed out over the last couple of weeks that Kevon Seymour has been getting better and better each and every day at practice and that um, he's putting himself in real contention for maybe even uh, playing more. So preseason is going to be huge for a guy like Kevon Seymour, uh, already bigger than it already is because with the Ravens having these slight quarterback cornerback injuries, um, that means it's more opportunity for more people. And Kevon Seymour is probably the top of the list for somebody who can take advantage of this opportunity and really see um, an uptick in playtime, right? Now, I don't think he'll get as far as maybe cornerback three, uh, but preseason could help him out to really uh, make this team and maybe be more than a guy who just plays special teams. So uh, I'm excited for that for Kevon Seymour. Um, in terms of anybody else, I don't really have anything. Today was really more about the interceptions, man. That's that's what today was about, right? Um, a lot of interceptions today, right? Nine, like I said, is a number that I really haven't heard too much coming from any kind of practice. You know, you, you have a quarterback, okay, he had a bad day, he threw two picks, right? Maybe, maybe three, but, you know, nine as a total quarterback group, like, that's that's kind of unheard of. So, hopefully, you know, uh, I'm not sure that they're practicing tomorrow. They're probably not. I don't think they usually practice on Sunday. So, um, they're probably not going to practice tomorrow. Take that day off, come back. And, uh, you know, you got to get better from here. You learn from it. As simple as that. You know, you these have to be uh, learning experiences, right? And um, so we'll see where it goes from there from the Ravens. And, uh, yeah, that's your Ravens practice report from, from today. Uh, quick one, just because it's not too much to say other than a lot of interceptions were thrown. Um, but, hey, listen, I'm a, we will, we'll take the positive route a little bit and say that the defense catching interceptions, turning the ball over is a major factor in having a good competitive defense. And if you can do that, you can frustrate the QBs, right? Um, so that's what I got to say about it, man. Um, hopefully the Ravens offense gets better. They learn from this experience and that, uh, you know, it's more positive report going forward, right? Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.